How do you begin an 80-year music career? Possessing a natural gift and studying with the sister of the world's greatest jazz pianist helps. Starting at age five helps even more. When did you start playing the piano? It seems like a few years ago, but it's uh, 84 years. Growing up in Montreal's Little Burgundy, Oliver Jones began performing piano at the Union United Church at the age of five. The neighborhood was always alive with music, especially 12 doors down from Oliver at the home of Daisy and Oscar Peterson. Well, Daisy brought the, brought the world to me uh, through classical music. Daisy Peterson basically taught Oscar and Oliver. When Oscar was practicing. I had never seen anyone have such command of the piano like that. By the age of nine, Oliver was performing in the Montreal Cafe and Club Circuit, famous for a novelty act that foreshadowed his natural showmanship. I was able to play from underneath the piano and uh, two things like the splits and my big closing act was I would have a dish towel across the piano and play on top. Oliver performed in and around Montreal until the end of his 20s, when pop singer Kenny Hamilton offered him a gig as his musical director in Puerto Rico. So we had a good following, and uh, we stayed together for 18 years. We played Calypso, a little bit of top 40s. Career opportunities in jazz were scarce, but the genre was the closest to Oliver's heart. I didn't have the the chance to uh, play jazz, but I was always listening. You know? In 1980, already 40 years into his career, he returned to Montreal and took his first jazz gig performing with Charlie Biddle at Biddle's Jazz and Ribs. He got into that scene and it became explosive at that point. And it started to take off, really. A young man with a dream of starting a jazz label caught their Biddles act, and the rest is history. It was a, a packed house, and I said, there's something magical about this. I actually went up to him that night, and I said, I'd like to record you. I said, oh, sure, sure. He looked like a little boy of 16 or 17 back then. And later on, he told me, he said, Jim, you know how many times I'd be approached at a club saying, I want to record you? He says, you're the only person ever called me back. <laughs> The label started because of Oliver, basically. For the next 20, 25 years, Jim was the most important person as far as I was concerned. At 49 years old, Oliver had launched a second career in jazz. Over the next 30 years, he released 22 albums with Jim, often traveling 200,000 miles a year, performing 130 shows around the world. He had the a million miles had a long time ago. <laughs> Oliver retired in 2000, but was enticed back to the stage for one more performance with his childhood friend, mentor, and inspiration, Oscar Peterson. It was the warmest feeling I've ever had getting to play with my idol, and most important, my friend. The show inspired Oliver to come out of retirement and I ended up doing 84 concerts that year. Jones is easily one of Canada's greatest jazz musicians, boasting multiple Junos, Felix Awards, a stamp in his honor, the Order of Quebec, and a prize possession, the Order of Canada. I don't leave house, the house without it. Oliver Jones could be in the Canadian Music Hall of Fame several times over. He realized his dreams as a jazz musician in the second half of his life, and still had a career longer than most. All told, Oliver has been entertaining Canada and the world for almost a century. I'm really, truly thrilled. It's been 80 years for me. Mother Nature caught up with me and told me, Oliver, you did your part. But what a wonderful time we had. <laughs>